Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629. Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629. What's up, everybody? Dat Boy Mo 629 with another episode, episode three of the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Today, we're going to talk about whether or not you need a personal trainer and what I think about that. Personally, I believe you need a personal trainer only if you are not familiar with working out. If you're just getting started in working out, like you know the basics, maybe walking on the treadmill or doing a stair climber or doing the elliptical or anything like that, as far as cardiovascular machines, I would say you do not need a personal trainer. However, if you want to get into the weight training game, if you want to learn about form, if you want to learn about exercises, if you want to learn about all the knickknacks and, you know, knick nooks and crannies of working out and fitness, I would highly, highly, highly suggest that you get with a personal trainer. I see a lot of people in the gym using incorrect form on machines, incorrect form with the dumbbell, incorrect form with the barbell, incorrect form with the easy bar curl, incorrect form doing pull-up, incorrect form doing dips. Folks, I understand you guys are looking at this at a, from a cost standpoint. However, setting up one month, at least one month with a personal trainer, right, will be beneficial to you in the end. It will help prevent injury. It will improve your knowledge on fitness because they'll be able to coach you. Coach you through your workouts. Coach you through your form. Help you develop a workout. Explain the workouts. Explain what the muscles, what muscles are being worked in certain exercises. Explain certain dynamics of stretches. Certain dynamics of, of foam rolls to you. You have to search on this for the internet, and then you're getting some BS from people, then you're getting the truth some, from people. So you, you're fighting through all of the, of the noise of fitness on the internet to get the same information from a personal trainer, uh, now a qualified personal trainer, that will be able to give you the information that you desire and need. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm a fitness coach. I'm not being biased. I've thought always before. Now, this is where I'm getting at right here. I see a qualified personal trainer because I see people training with people that are not even qualified to train them. So you need a qualified trainer. I'm not even saying a certified personal trainer, right? A certified through NASM or anything like that. But I'm saying a person that knows what they're doing, that knows how to train, that knows how to use proper form, that knows how to prevent injury. In your workout, especially if you never worked out before, especially if you never held a barbell before, this person can give you the truthful information and the valuable information that you desire. You don't want a lot of people say, I have a friend who told me that they don't want to go to the gym because they don't want to look stupid in front of people. But they will work out with me because they know if I'm with them, they won't look stupid because I'll be able to guide them through their workout. I'll be able to show them proper form. I'll be able to give them the knowledge and information that they need to go to the gym and work out and do certain exercises that they want to do, work out certain body parts that they want to work out. And I'm very informed on that. Now, this is prior to me getting my NASM. This is prior. So I'm not certified and they want to work out with me. Now, I'm not being biased again, but I know that there's some people out there that train people based off their own workouts, not what's beneficial to the client or the person they're training who has no education, who has no experience working out. So if you've been in the gym for five, six, seven, ten years and you're working out as an advanced 10 year uh, 
trainer, you can't send somebody into the gym with that same level that you're training at. This fresh off the street cold turkey. Now that's what I'm saying. If you get a personal trainer, you need somebody that's qualified, somebody that understands your fitness level, where you're at compared to theirs, and help you gradually get from where you're at to a more advanced level. That's why they say beginner, intermediate, advanced levels of fitness, because not everyone is an advanced lifter. Everybody is not an advanced crossfitter. Nobody is an advanced yoga person. Or in Pilates, or whatever you want to call it, contortionist style. So, do I recommend a personal trainer or anybody out there that's trying to get into fitness? I will highly suggest yes. Now, it's okay to look at prices, it's okay to compare prices. If you have a budget, get with the trainer that's within your budget. But also, make sure you're getting the most out of that trainer that's within your budget. Now, if you want this trainer to develop meal plans, you need to understand that a true personal trainer will not give you a meal plan. Because according to our personal trainer rules, we are not qualified to give out meal plans. Only dietitians are. Registered dietitians and nutritionists are qualified to give out meal plans, right? So, if you want a meal plan from a personal trainer, they can give you macros and they can like suggest foods that they eat, but giving out actual meal plans because they don't know your what you're allergic to, what you can, you know, like what type of food you can really eat and all that stuff. See, I don't even know. I don't even know what the requirements are because I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. All I can give you is suggestions of what I do. And all I can give you is a macro plan because that's scientifically backed up as far as how many calories you should get at what height and what weight and what percent of the body fat you are, right? If you wanna gain muscle, if you wanna lose weight, if you wanna maintain. However, that's not why I'm here. I wanna inform you that if you're getting into the fitness industry, if you're getting into fitness, if you are a New Year's resolutionist, or you just decided to go to the gym and work out, I will highly suggest you schedule a couple sessions with a personal trainer. Some gym do it for free, right? Some gym do it for free. They'll have a personal trainer walk with you and show you the ropes and show you what you need to do. If you ask them questions, I'm pretty sure they'll show you the proper form, how to do bicep curl, triceps, chest presses, all that. Now, when you get to the advanced level, they'll show you some stuff around those. Like deadlifts, like I said, squats, bench presses, push-ups, all that. I see a lot of people in the gym using poor form. And if you're using poor form, you're not getting the maximal results that you need out your workout because your muscles, because your muscles are not fully performing in a proper range of motion. I'm going to give you guys information right now for free. Hell, on why you should be getting a personal trainer and what specific, specific reason you should. If you're doing a bench press and you're not using correct form, you're not working your chest muscle like you need. You're not getting a full range of motion. You're not getting a full activation of your chest muscles or your tricep muscles or your deltoid muscles. Oh, you didn't think the chest press, bench press worked your delts, huh? But it does. Um... Your front delts. But anyway, get yourself a personal trainer. If you're going to the gym, get yourself a personal trainer. Make sure the person is qualified. Make sure you can relate to your personal trainer. You're comfortable with your personal trainer. Don't, you know, you got to be comfortable with your trainer. Your trainer can't be somebody you do not look forward to working out with because that will prevent you from even working out. You would dread seeing your trainer. So make sure that you have a good relationship with your trainer. Make sure your trainer is someone that you can rely on, that you're comfortable with, that you know that you can achieve your goals by being with this trainer. 
Now, thank you for tuning in to episode three of the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. That boy Mo six two nine. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dat Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at ace1warrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it.